Okay, today take a look at the Digital Laser Protractor. So it does come with a charging cable. This is USB-A to USB-C, and it even comes with a little pouch. That's nice. Okay. So, nice simple three button design. We can see we got our laser here on the right and we got one on the left. It's like our charging port is on the top. That's cool. So I do like they got that covered and then nothing really on the bottom. Okay, cool. So we do need to have this thing somewhat upright for it to actually work. Wow, that's cool. So we got lasers on both sides. Love seeing that. So let's see if I can get zero degrees. Pretty tough because that is a very fine measurement. But one thing I do like seeing is that this little indicator right here, this is telling you if you're pointing to the right or if you're pointing to the left. So that way, if you're real close to zero, you're gonna know exactly which way you gotta go just by that little icon right there. We also have a zero in calibration. So if I put this on the ground, this table is actually much more close to zero than I was expecting it to be. But if I wanted to calibrate it, oh, that's interesting. So this is absolute and reference. Oh, hey, that's cool. You know, all kinds of fun stuff. Neat. That thing on the bottom is actually a magnet. And then we got this little plate. So if we need to put this thing on a wall, we can actually just screw this thing right to the wall or we could use this adhesive, stick that onto there, stick that on the wall, and then we can use this. <laughs> That's cool. So we got magnets on all sides. Okay, cool. Let's go back to absolute and reference. So right now we're at absolute, which means that if I turn this 90 degrees, right about there, we are now in absolute. That's cool. It actually goes from the top to the bottom too as I rotate it. So that way I can still read it even if I got it at a weird angle. Neat. But let's say I just want to do a reference. So, well, for example, if I want it at 22 degrees, I get a reference and that basically zeroes it. And then I'm going to be able to see what kind of degree off from that I can get. So, for example, if I'm going to be doing drainage, I want to have a 2% slope. I'll be looking about 1.15 degrees approximately. real t I mean that's the problem with having something that's as fine as this is that getting that exact measurement is actually kind of difficult we'll just call it right there <laughs> all right so now zero is 1.15 degrees so now I know if I get this thing to zero out I will be at that one point it was about 1.3 degrees so that is a way that you can use that to your advantage it's so very cool and then unit oh that's cool. So that's actually changing which laser is on. So right now we got both. And we got right, left, and none. And the instructions say we should be able to use that to change. Yes, awesome. So now instead of trying to convert that from degrees to percentage, we can just use percentage. We're looking for a 2% slope. So right about there, approximately. So we got degrees, percentage. Oh, that's cool. So we got millimeters per meter, inches per foot then back to degrees. That is awesome. That makes this a very nice gauge. So what we can use that for, because this has a laser on both sides, we can actually, it's a little harder to see on the camera. Now you can see it. But we can get right where we want our zero to be. There we go, zero degrees. So that is perfectly level and I can hang anything on that plane. I know it's gonna be perfectly straight or I guess within 0.02 degrees. <laughs> But yeah, that's plenty accurate enough for anything that I do. If you're used to using like a bubble level or anything like that, this is going to be more accurate than that. And I think I really love that I can just take this thing and move it. I don't have to worry about the degrees. I can just easily mark out that line. So I can almost use this for like drywall and stuff like that just for marking out lines. So yeah, overall, that is a very nice tool.